This is just a sample of the audiobook. To get the complete audiobook access the link posted in the first comment. In the lives of Michel Foucault, David Macy quotes Foucault as speaking nostalgically of an unforgettable evening on LSD in carefully prepared doses in the desert night, with delicious music, nice people, and some chartreuse. This unforgettable evening took place in 1975, when Foucault, then a visiting professor at the University of California at Berkeley, was driven to Death Valley by an assistant professor at Claremont Graduate School and his boyfriend, a pianist. Once there, the two young men persuaded Foucault to experience the desert night under the influence of a psychedelic drug. This was Foucault's first experience with acid, and by the morning, he was crying and proclaiming that he knew truth. I first heard this story in 2014 when I was a graduate student at the University of Southern California. I found it frankly hard to believe that a philosopher of Foucault's standing would have had the time to take a trip with two strangers, and even harder to believe that he would, at age 49, agree to experiment with psychedelic drugs with these strangers. The whole episode was absurd, I thought, and it triggered something deeply snarky in me. I hated theory, I hated Foucault, who seemed to embody all the privilege and arrogance of the theory movement. When I heard that Foucault's host in Death Valley, Simeon Wade, had an unpublished manuscript describing this experience in the desert, I decided to track him down. I wanted to get Wade's manuscript and use it to write a satire about idiot academics in the desert. I badgered someone who knew someone who had his address. He's a recluse, the friend of a friend said doesn't use a computer or a phone, and basically lives off the grid. I wrote Wade a letter introducing myself and asking for a meeting. He sent back a postcard with a date, a time, and the address of a Starbucks near his home in Oxnard, California, about 65 miles from Pasadena, where I live. How will I know it's him? I asked my source. You'll know, he replied. And I did. Half an hour after the appointed time as I was getting ready to leave, a 25-year-old pickup truck rattled into the Pod Mall parking lot. The driver sat for a moment, finishing a cigarette, before gathering up half a dozen plastic grocery bags and an armload of books. A tall and heavy-set man, he wore an electric blue T-shirt half-tucked into a pair of baggy farmer jeans. Upon entering the Starbucks, he walked straight to me and dropped the bags and the books on the table where I sat. He doffed his emerald green baseball cap, revealing a bald head sprinkled with age spots. Delighted to meet you, he said, a trace of Texas in his accent. His words were as soft and whispered as Gaelic, and I realized with some alarm that he had no teeth. I've brought you some reference material and an icy cold coke for your drive home. He sat down and started telling tales that I found hard to believe. Oh, yes, he had taken Michel Foucault to Death Valley. Foucault, Wade said, had loved this trip so much that he had called it one of the most important experiences of his life. But that was only the beginning of their association. Foucault had visited him several times. Wade had interviewed Foucault on television at Claremont Graduate School.